And I don't know why I'm feeling anxious. I don't know. We're gonna do it. I'm just scared that I'm not going to stand up for myself in a way that I should. And that's one thing that is just like unbelievable with this house. Just I had a feeling you'd come back and say Good morning guys and happy moving day. I am so freaking excited, but before we get to all of the craziness, I knew I really, really, really wanted to get in a workout, which driving to the gym at 5.40 in the morning, last thing I wanted to do when my alarm went off this morning, I was very sad about it. Well, actually I was awake a little, you know when you like wake up like, I don't know, 20 minutes before your alarm and you're just laying in bed waiting for that moment? That was this morning, but I just, I knew like, Getting in this workout was just going to set my day up for success and I had to do it a little bit early. And even though I'm dreading it right now, it's metabolic conditioning, which at Bird Boot Camp is a killer workout. It's like kettlebell swings. I, I don't even know how to describe it. It just, it hurts. It really, really hurts. I, I just, I, I have to do this. So I am not excited to work out, but I'm sure when you check back in with me in an hour, I'm going to be happy I did it. That felt so good and it's funny because if I were to snooze my alarm, which I always consider, I never do it, like very rarely, but I considered it. I would have like set it until 7 a.m. and I still would have been asleep right now, which I guess <laughs> would have been a good thing for like my sleep, but whatever. I'm happy, I did it. And honestly, I'm gonna be so sad leaving this gym because I've been going to this uh, burn boot camp here in Dayton for the past, what, like two months now? And I love the people. And like this happens in every single city. And if there's one thing I learned throughout this whole travel thing, you can be and you will be happy anywhere. You'll also be sad anywhere. A city does not determine your life. For example, like I, I found happiness in Nashville. I was so happy in Charlotte. I was so happy in St. Pete. I'm happy here in Dayton. I was happy in New York. And the funny thing is when we were traveling in every city we went to, when we were in that city, I said, oh my gosh, I think we should move here. Like I just, I, I don't know. Like I'm just happy wherever I am. And obviously a big part of it is I'm with Zach, but what ultimately made me decide to move to Cincinnati is because I was like, okay, I'm literally happy in every city. Why not go to the city where we know the most people, we have the most friends, we have family here. Obviously it's not in Cincinnati, but in Dayton, Zach's family, and actually Neil is in Cincinnati, so we do have family, but it's just, why not? I just, it made so much sense to me. And I'm really freaking excited for this move, although, oh, I dread it. Like moving just absolutely sucks. But anyway, we'll talk about that more later because I got to get home, get showered. Actually, I need to go to Kroger as well to get dinner for tonight and just get everything prepared. Not a very exciting grocery haul, I'm afraid. We've just got some Quaker oats. I wanted to get tinfoil to replenish Zach's parent supply because they were kind enough to let me use it, a lot of it. Sweet potato, and then where are they? Just bananas, because you always have to have bananas. All right, so a little rundown for how today is going to go. Things have actually taken a turn for the worse. Not really, but basically, Zach has to work, so I'm going to be controlling the move, Zach, this is so not me. Like normally like you are the leader, like the fearless leader when it comes to things like this. And I'm so scared. I'm just like scared about everything. I believe in you. You do? And I think you can step up today. I'm really going to, I'm gonna prove my worth. And just show the world that you can handle movers. <laughs> I can do it guys. So Zach has to work, but Neil, my brother was supposed to come and help. And then he just called 20 minutes ago saying he woke up feeling sick. So I don't even, uh, listen, it's not that I don't believe him, but it's just very convenient that it's moving day and he's suddenly feeling a little sick. And he said he's going to shower and then see how he's feeling. But like, basically he's not coming. So it's just going to be me and the movers. And I have to say like being in a relationship has seriously made me so much less independent. And that sounds like a really bad thing, but it's just because like Zach is so great and how could I not rely on him for everything in my life? So. I would say that I am less independent too and you help me. Wow, so like we're a team. We are. But when one teammate has to work, the other has to step up and really do things. So I'm gonna meet the movers at the storage unit because all of our stuff is in storage. I mean. We're gonna be moving our things into the house today, but we have so many furniture and appliance deliveries happening this week too. So it's not a full move in, but all I know is that when we moved uh, our stuff out of the apartment into the storage unit, it took like six hours. Like it was 
one of just the worst days and so I'm just dreading today. It's not something I'm looking forward to. Also at the same time, I have the Spectrum guy meeting me at the house to set up our internet. Like there's just a lot going on and we're just, we're gonna make it work. It's sunny, that is so lucky because there's nothing worse than moving when it's like pouring rain and it's awful and we're just gonna make this work. I, I don't know why I'm feeling anxious. I don't know, we're gonna do it. Because also I don't even know how to get into the storage unit. Cause Zach, like I said, did everything. So we're gonna see if I can figure this all out. And actually I should probably leave right now if I don't wanna be late, but yeah. Big moving day. Oh, and I didn't even say, everything has been so anticlimactic because when we got our keys and we closed on the house, we didn't move in. And then tonight, we're not moving in yet because we don't have appliances like a fridge and washer dryer. We had to get those all ourselves. So we're actually gonna move officially into the house tomorrow night. Today is just getting all our stuff there. And I'm scared to see just all of the boxes and all of the things we have, which obviously you guys know, I've been wearing like the same five shirts and like the same three pairs of pants because everything's in storage. And so many people said like, why don't you just get it from the storage unit? It's not that hard. Well, we didn't think about this and all of our boxes of clothes went in first and then the furniture. So like you can't just go in there and get things. Like it's stuffed to the brim. So today's gonna be an interesting one. All right, I'm here at the storage unit, just waiting for the movers to get here. Just me, myself, and I. I really hope they're nice. I'm scared. I like. I know this is annoying. I get like anxious and scared over the stupidest things. Like, why am I, why am I anxious right now? There's really no reason. We're all gonna be okay. It's gonna be great. I hope. <laughs> The movers are at the storage unit. I decided to leave them just so I can knock out a few things, starting with a nice little trip to Target for some of the essentials. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, I just spent over $200 at Target, which never happens. And I honestly didn't even scratch the surface. Like there is so much that I need to get from shower mats to bath towels, paper towels, like everything. But I had to jet out of there because I have to get back to the house by noon. That is when the Spectrum people should be coming to set up internet anywhere from noon to one. So gotta make sure I'm back there and I can continue all of my errands a little bit later. I'm currently standing in my new house and oh my gosh, you can like hear the echo just because it's so empty and I just want to savor this moment before everything comes before we have all of our stuff here it's weird to think like how long will we live here will we live here for two decades three decades two years like there's just there's no telling and there are a lot of trees outside here that are starting to get leaves not really but we're, we're starting to see them which this is gonna be so beautiful in the summertime and spring and fall and I'm just so excited and even like the neighborhood driving in, it's just so nice, it like, it's happy. I can't even explain it. It almost reminds me of like um, an alternative Dr. Seuss universe. Like it's just like a really cool neighborhood. And this is just a really nice present from our real estate agent. She told us to pop it in the fridge for like 30 minutes to chill it. And I told her, yes, when we get a fridge, that will be our first priority, which the fridge shipment that is coming in two days where we get a lot of our appliances. And Target, by the way, oh my gosh, like all of these were necessary purchases. We just have so many things, like everything from a Brita. I really like these kitchen towels, which I wanna change these out seasonally. Now that we have a house, I feel like I actually wouldn't mind investing. Normally in our apartment, I just use the same ones every single season just because I wanted to save money, but this will kind of just be like a nice standard. I thought it popped with the black and white. Got a lot of like shampoo, conditioner, a lot of moisturizer. This is for the guest bathroom. I figured, you know what, for like little things like guest bathroom, that's where I want to go cheap just because things are adding up really fast. So I want to try to like splurge on certain things like our couches that we bought. 
are definitely on the expensive side and we're just going to be using my old apartment furniture for now so that's what the movers are bringing but we did order new couches and whatnot so yes bedroom stuff cheap i got like the cheapest bathroom garbages possible i don't really think anyone's judging that <laughs> little things like dish pods so laundry detergent i feel like dryer sheets are actually the trick like this is what determines how your clothes smell i mean obviously the detergent plays a big role but also dryer sheets. And I really like these cool cotton ones. And this was on the doorstep when I arrived, which I believe I know what it is. My mom said she sent me paint samples because we were thinking of painting a couple of the rooms white. A lot of the walls are like, I guess what you would call grayish. It's like a mix of gray and beige, which I really appreciate. I think when walls are just gray, it looks so sterile. I don't like the whole gray and white look. So we were thinking of lightening up a couple of the rooms with just white, like my bedroom possibly. And I know you're probably thinking like, all right, just paint it white, but there are so many shades of white. So these are helpful and you can see what they look like on the wall. Okay, honestly, these really all do look the same to me. I've decided in life, I wanna be one of those people who celebrates the small victories. And this is what I like to call a small victory, hanging up the guest bathroom shower curtain. This is. This is lame and honestly, it's not even a total victory. I forgot to get a liner. So we are winning. I love these little ledges though, like perfect amount of space. And that's one thing that is just like unbelievable with this house, just after living in an apartment for so long, the space. Like I, I'll show you if we go over here. I showed you guys in the empty house tour. This house is kind of a weird layout where like the master has its own floor along with, of course, course washer dryer they're not here yet but it's kind of like a it's an interesting layout it's very unique and then over here i was just about to put some of my stuff away guys i can't believe how much storage we have like in our apartment or even traveling like this is how much we had for both of us like even less than this which is crazy and now we have all of this like it's just oh my gosh like it's just it's it's just obviously what happens when you go from living in an apartment to a house but it feels so nice and by the way I just ordered this stuff on Amazon. You guys have to try it if you need. I'll link it actually down below. A good face cleansing balm. Takes off all your makeup. So good for your skin. Also, obviously, the environment. Like, it's just so amazing. And then I use it with these cotton rounds. Like, it's just, this combination has been a game changer. All right, guys. We are making progress. Our place looks like someone just ransacked it. I mean, we've got boxes everywhere upstairs is even worse. And then, okay, funny story about these couches, the reason they're not set up yet. We could not find wherever these, like whatever the legs were, I guess you could call it that. And I was telling the movers, like it was your guys who moved last time. They told me they were putting it in a specific place and I can't remember where. And like, seriously, I have the memory, like just locked. Like where a guy was telling me, I always put the legs here and I couldn't remember where we were looking at Facebook photos. He was like, is it Tommy? Like showing me different people. And I just couldn't remember. Well, the first box I opened after they left, cause I told them like, no worries. Like I'll find them. I'll figure it out. Like no big deal at all. First box I opened had the legs. So I don't even really care that much about these couches because we are planning on actually having our other couches that we ordered from Crate and Barrel come. And then those will be our main couches. We have another couch going into the basement. And then these, I'm either planning on selling, I don't know. I don't know, we're, we're definitely upgrading from the couches that I bought for my first apartment in Dayton, which feels good. Like it feels good to upgrade my furniture and we still have a lot more to buy. Like just at this point, it's little things that are going to add up, but we're done for the most part with the big purchases. Oh, I was about to say we're done, but we're not. If we walk over here, Zach's office is still empty. We do not know what we are putting. I mean, we do know a desk, obviously, and then like some sort of like console thing or like storage, but we still need to get Zach's office stuff. And then if we walk this way, it feels, I, I know I keep saying this, but it just feels so weird to have so much stuff in our house, or not so much stuff, but so much room. Uh, master, the furniture still needs to come. Spoiler alert, I'm doing Pottery Barn furniture in here. Walk up more stairs. Oh, let's see, I haven't even looked. Oh my gosh, okay, so the funny story with this, I know this is disgusting, I'm taking this off and throwing it out. I kept this on in the move because my bed was so disgusting from my spray tans. I don't know, they like leak through. The mattress that we got for our master bedroom is not white. So that is very good. So it looks disgusting and I was so embarrassed when we were moving last time. So I just put the sheet on it. I'm glad no one has to see my disgustingness. Wow, this is really coming together. I'm so, okay, I love how I said this is coming together. You know what I mean.
I'm very curious about the Clancy room. Oh my gosh! Got my desk, my dresser. I need to assemble this. I guess that's weird. I guess they didn't assemble it or I didn't have the stuff. I don't know. We have to figure that out. I just need to like clean everything, wipe down everything, obviously unload all of the boxes, but I think I'm going to be done for today because I am starving. Like the Spectrum guy just left. It's 3 p.m. I have not yet eat. I mean, I had breakfast, but I haven't had lunch and I am freaking hungry. So I am so excited. Oh my gosh. It like doesn't feel real, but like it's starting to feel real. Like I'm really, really excited. There's just so many things to do. For example, like the cabinet liners, it's just, it's a lot. We're gonna get through it. It's gonna be fun. I'm definitely, definitely gonna need some alcohol by the end of this. Although I don't really drink wine and I have mentioned that I'm not drinking until the wedding, so that didn't even really make sense, but I'm really freaking excited. Bye house, see you tomorrow. Okay, Carrito is approximately three degrees. I have no idea why. It's always a thing in the winter time, in the summertime. Like, it's just always so cold in there. So I decided to eat in my car like a lame person. Like, I really hope no one can see me right now. But today I came to a very important conclusion and it's that in life, I can do things on my own, but when you're in a relationship, it's just more satisfying and comforting and more fun to do things with your significant other. Like I've always been an independent person, it's weird. I feel like being in a relationship, just it just makes you more like, I don't know, there's someone to do half the things for you. And let's be real, Zach probably does three quarters of the things for me, so yeah. But I feel like proud that I did everything on my own today. Like it just, I know it's not an accomplishment, I know that, but I just, I feel proud. Like I just, it's it was something that was just making me so anxious this morning and when Neil canceled on me, I was just like, oh, like I don't know. I just, I think one of the things that I get scared of in like just with situations like this, I get worried that I'm going to be bullied into something. I'm very, what's the word? Like I'm not passive aggressive. Cause that would mean like, I think passive aggressive is when like, you're like, you have an attitude. I'm just like submissive. I guess that's the word like, oh yeah, sure. Like take a million dollars from me or like do it. Like I'm very easy to get like bossed around. I guess that's, that's the word. Like I, I'm very easy to boss around. And so when it comes to things like moving or like the spectrum guy coming, like I'm just scared that. I'm not going to stand up for myself in a way that I should because I'm just, I just, it's really hard for me to do. It really is. And like, I've said this before, listen, nine times out of 10 in life, it's fine. And I'm a very happy person. Like I, I, I am just happy the way I live my life, but it is good to stand up for yourself in certain situations. And I'm glad when Zach can do that for me, <laughs> but obviously he can't always be here and he has been very busy with work. So anyway, I'm gonna eat my bowl. My This is what I always get from Carrito. It's build your own. Anytime I go to a place where you can build your own, that's what I do. I'll never get the like the Mediterranean bowl or like I just like to build my own and put my own things in it because let's face it, most of the time I'm taking things out and putting things, like I'm already building my own stuff at restaurants. I just get romaine lettuce, quinoa, sweet potato, chicken, cucumber, house vinaigrette. And this right here is just like, my ideal meal. And I'm so happy to be back in Cincinnati with my favorite food. It's definitely something I'm looking forward to. And can I just say, spring in the Midwest or even like New York, like places that are cold, it's just, there's nothing like it. There is nothing like it. And oh my gosh, might I add, how crazy is this? We decided to move back to Cincinnati and not do St. Petersburg, Florida, just a few days after that decision. Like this wasn't a factor in my decision. I had no idea this was a thing. There is a, a big glob of seaweed. It's a 5,000 mile seaweed belt making its way to St. Petersburg, Florida. And apparently my mom is telling me today, it's gonna smell like rotten eggs. It's gonna be awful. If you guys remember, we dealt with red tide while we were there for, I think it lasted like a week and a half while we were there. It was like nothing I've ever smelled in my life. It just was the smell of dead fish. Like just picture the smell of a dead being. Like it was so nasty. You couldn't even be outside, honestly. So like there are, there are definitely archons of Florida that we discovered and that was one of them. And obviously it's not just St. Pete. It's just like the Gulf of Florida, which is St. Pete. So yeah, that's, that's one reason I'm happy we did not move there and we are just excited to like go back and visit. That'll be so cool. But anyway, all right, clearly I'm like just lonely and trying to chat with someone after being alone all day. So you guys are my someone, but I'm going to eat this and then hopefully head home. Maybe do some shopping. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling.
right, I figured I'd do a quick little home goods haul in the parking lot still, but I just got four bath towels. I just got these Calvin Klein ones. Tan, I love white, but with my makeup, with my self tan, it's just not practical. So the tan is going to have to do. I also got several bath mats for our bathrooms. I was unsure what sizes to get, so we'll have to see, but they feel so nice. Then this is probably my most exciting purchase of the day. I love these types of cups. They're plastic. I, I don't like glass cups. I don't like, I don't like feeling like if I drop it, it's going to shatter. They're $3.99 and they're big. Like I love a big cup because I drink so much water and I just don't want to have to keep refilling it. I can't even, it's stuck. But anyway, this is two cups. And lastly, a toothbrush holder. <laughs> Very exciting. I feel like I'm knocking out all of the annoying purchases and I'm so excited when I get to like design the space. Like I was looking at decorations and wall art and plants and I'm so excited for that. But first I have to get like the basics. And now I'm back to Zach and I's mess. <laughs> it is seriously insane in here for the record. So I've said this is Zach's mom's room. This is not what her room normally looks like. We have destroyed it and we are so grateful that she offered it up for us. Like seriously, oh my gosh. Like if this is what we did, like this room is huge. If this is what we did to a room this big, like I, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine what the alternative would be. But I'm so excited just to get all of this squared away and like in one place. Like I, guys, I truly cannot emphasize how excited I am. And I'm just gonna stop because that's so annoying just to keep saying, but I kind of had different plans for this vlog. I thought this was gonna be our big move-in vlog, which obviously today was the big moving day, but I thought we were going to be moving in and sleeping there in this vlog. But I actually think we're gonna have to delay our move, like our true move. We're we actually live there a little bit because Zach has some doctor's appointments this week in Dayton where the scheduling might not make sense for us to move to Cincinnati and then for him to commute and still have to work. Like it's just been a mess. And anyone who has been struggling with health problems knows that getting help is a full-time job. I mean, you have appointment after appointment after appointment, and these appointments aren't necessarily at 5, 6 a.m. or 7, 8 p.m. after you get off work. No, you have to squeeze it in during the day, and that has been really hard for Zach. And this week, I think he is going to get a bone scan. He's also trying to see an infectious disease specialist as just possibilities of what could be wrong with him. We've been talking a lot about his health on this, obviously. And then something with, I forget the other one, like an internal medicine. I, I forget, but he has a busy week. And that's why I really, 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 really have been trying my hardest to take as much off his plate as possible with this move. He just has so much going on. And I'm, I've just been really trying, like, just to make it to that. I mean, granted, he's been helping so much, you know, just in various ways. But I've been really trying to make it so that he can kind of just, like, arrive at our house Everything will be set up and that's just one less thing he has to worry about because I feel like things are just piling up and then obviously we have the wedding. We never ever thought that leading up to the wedding he would still be sick. Gosh, ever. I mean, it's about to be a year that he has been sick and so yeah, we're just still obviously trying to figure out exactly what's wrong with him and he's really just been like doing as good as he can and keeping such a positive attitude. I think being with his family has really helped too. Just, it's really, really, really nice to be with them. Like as much as we are so excited to move into our house and I really, really am excited, obviously, we're gonna miss his family. It's been so nice just being near everyone. And obviously we're still gonna be near them in Cincinnati, which will be great. And especially as the days get warmer, like we could do fun stuff outside, like go bike riding or just sit on a patio somewhere. Like. Oh, the possibilities are just so endless when the weather actually cooperates because I feel like in the winter, I truly am a hibernation girl, which like is fun in the beginning. Like in November and December, like I'm so happy to be hibernating, but by like January, February, March, I'm like, get me outside. Like I need to like spread my wings, okay? So yeah, this vlog, sorry, it's not like the complete like, oh, we're in our home, but that'll be coming, guys. I feel like it's a slow process to get there and we're just enjoying every step like I always have to remind myself like enjoy the process the process isn't always fun and you just want to get there and you really just want to like you know speed through everything speed through life but now I'm trying to remind myself to like take it all in and be so grateful and I truly am I'm grateful for my family I'm grateful for you guys and I'm just I'm really grateful for how things have panned out it's just 
yeah, anyway, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm, I was about to go on a whole other rant, but we're not going to do that because <laughs> we don't need me to get all philosophical in a moving vlog. But rest assured, next vlog, guys, that's when we're gonna be moving in officially, fingers crossed, I hope. But yeah, I'm really excited for all of that. And I cannot thank you guys enough for your sweet comments, your support. It seriously does mean the world to me. So thank you guys. I love you so much. Be sure to be subscribed if you're not already, just so that you don't even have to worry about checking back on my channel. It just pops up on your homepage. And I shall talk to you guys later. Bye.